Hello, hello, my beautiful soul. Welcome to a new tarot reading meant to reach you right in this moment. It is timeless. So whenever it finds you, it is for you. I have here um, the zodiac signs for who this reading is. And we've got Pisces. We've got Taurus. We also have here... Aquarius and one more Virgo so Pisces Taurus Aquarius and Virgo are the signs for this reading so let's see what you are meant to hear right in this moment what the tarot cards um, will show us right in this moment something that is going on right now in your life or is about to happen let's see so first card the card of renewal is the card of judgment three of swords great sadness that will heal with time the star card in the middle of your reading shows the healing energy right and we see this throughout these three cards. We have Ace of Pentacles, a windfall of abundance, good fortune, and Ace of Swords. Oh my goodness. You have four major arcana. The Aces are a new beginning, are the, the, a new phase. The judgment is the wake-up call, time to head in a new direction, uh, gaining clarity on your life purpose, listening what you feel in your heart, what your heart is telling you to do, what you should do. You know already. This need of detaching yourself from something that has to do with your past, because you cannot move on is something that holds you back, that doesn't allow you to focus on the next step, on your, you know, growth. Instead of um, taking the challenges that you, you are going through and you went through, um, in, instead of taking all these challenges and use them, right, to become more strong, more wise, uh, you let the challenges to put you down, to, to stop you. So your, your attitude towards what life throws in your way is, is not quite right. All right? So sometimes helping others is a great help for yourself. Always look at the bright side of things. So whatever you went through or you are going through, of course, it might be difficult. It might be terrible. But is it helpful for you to look at all the, the negative sides of the situation? Is it helpful? Probably not. You just go deep and deep into this negative mindset and right you feel like you'll never get away from that so the judgment says it's time to wake up it's time to head into a new direction and as you you know shift your perspective towards what hurts you right now and what hurt you in the past things are about to to change for you so opportunities are coming in Overcoming uh, obstacles with faith that everything will work out. This is what Ace of uh, Swords is saying here. You know, being bold, be courageous and always be optimistic. Because if you are not optimistic, you will not feel to do anything. You will not feel to move, to take any kind of action. And you need always to move. Now, some of you here, you may have an opportunity to learn something new. You may get an invitation to go somewhere, to be with certain people from where, 
uh, you will learn so much. So don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't take it like something bad. Take any opportunity that comes towards you and make the best out of it. Nothing happens for no reason. There is always a reason behind every everything that happens. Now, some people will have their eyes open and they, they see, right? They get um, um, all the, the signs. Some people are so uh, caught up into sadness, into disappointment, into negativity that even though someone may come and offer you something, may be right in front of your eyes, you cannot see them because there is something else here that takes all, all your attention. Now, let's see what else. So definitely here with the first round of cards, it's a uh, time, you know, to, to be more positive and being positive, you'll feel better and you will have, you know, you will grow this courage within yourself to, um, to take action, to, to, to make use of all the good things that are in your life. Let's see what else. Okay, one more time. So we have seven of cups. You have a king of cups in reverse. The past, the card of the past, right? And the six of cups. Most of the times... Uh, um, um, six of cups is the, the card of uh, nostalgia of the past thinking maybe uh, six is about returning to, to certain points in your life um, of course go and reanalyze the past if it's necessary right but if it's not necessary don't do it Another thing here, all right? Now you have four of swords and you also have the full card in reverse here. So what do we see? Six of cups holding on into something to do with the past. As I said, go into this energy only if it's truly necessary, if it's helping you in the present moment. If not, if it's just keeping you more down and more, um, you know, in this in this negative mindset, don't go there. You don't need a past. Now, the King of Cups in reverse is someone that tries to, you know, to use other people or to blame others for whatever happened to them, you know. So pay attention to this because this is another way another way of wasting your energy by spending the time looking for whose fault was from where it start and so on so you've got here some options with the seven of cups right and this is the moment when you must be realistic right about your situation and to make a choice to make a choice. Now, if you feel that it's not the right time, you don't feel good within yourself, you feel agitated, you feel way too afraid, then give yourself a break. Four of Swords here is the card of taking a break to clear your mind and, you know, a, a recovery period. And you might need that because we have the Three of Swords there also. So you might need a little bit of time to, to prepare yourself mentally for the changes that one way or another will happen. All right? So the full being in reverse here, there is a risk, there is some impulsivity that is not beneficial for you. So watch your steps, give yourself time if you need it. If you feel unsure, 
give yourself a little bit more time before you make a big decision here, maybe of um, taking a new job or a new school, right? Because we have the aces here. So uh, before you embrace this new beginning, new phase, whatever it is, something to do with your work for most of you, because these days of pentacles are the money, materialistic things, right? Uh, the same, the sword. So give yourself time to think about, to don't rush in making decisions because you are not totally clear and you don't want a little bit later to find yourself in that position where you say, yeah, I made that decision to blame others, you know, so to take full responsibility for your next choices. And to do that, you need some time. You need some time. You don't have to rush into anything. Now let's take your oracle cards and let's see a little bit more. So you've got here the map maker of destiny. You have the free will, right? So you are the master in your own life. You are the magician. You are the creator. This has to be um, clear for you. You are the creator. Pay attention. There is something here with the Hawk Prince telling you to pay attention. Let's see more. The Winged Wise Ones. Almost like there are maybe synchronicities that happen to you or they will happen. Uh, it will happen and you, you, that's why you need to pay attention. You know, you will get inspired um when you might find yourself in the most in a place where maybe you are all by yourself there is something here that will inspire you you are getting help from above so pay attention that's why it's important to be present don't pay attention to the past to pay attention to the present moment because um you know you might find help in in the most unexpected place or moment and then you have here the well um, watcher with wisdom power of the divine so again this um, this idea of uh, higher forces will come together to help you in a matter here um, and that's why it's so important like you to be uh, present you know and looks like this has something to do again look at this material wealth true prosperity so there is something here maybe this is something that you are looking towards how to make more money how to get that job how to in, to become more uh, um, abundant and looks like things are about to to happen to come to you you are receiving help all you need is to stay focused and always with the star card have a positive mindset. Being positive means that you are not looking towards the past and you are not too far into the future. You are very, uh, very focused on the present moment. This is what uh, the cards are showing me for you here right now. Thank you so much for being here with me. My beautiful soul, I really hope you enjoyed the reading and it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments below. Um, wish you all the best and see you very soon. Love and light.